A Calgary editor and community activist has teamed up with a Winnipeg organization to publish a groundbreaking book. Home is in the body, two-spirit, LGBTQIA+, Philippinex Femme, north of 49th Parallel, features voices from the queer Philippinex community across Canada and the U.S. Jax Gaios Aquinas is the editor and creator of the book. They join me now. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me, Marjorie. What is Home is in the Body about? It's about community building um, and and building a space for Filipinx uh, LGBTQ2SI plus femme in Canada where we have rarely had space. Um, I haven't seen it before other than uh, glimpses online on Instagram and uh, at the Penai Power 2 conference where uh, most of the work was culminated and uh, gathered. What inspired you to create this book? Uh, quite a few things, um, but I like I think the first spark of it was from an, a Sikolohian Filipino group here in Calgary that uh, I joined and uh, regularly met with some community organizers and uh, social workers, uh, human services people, people dedicated to the Filipinx identity and our community. Um, and I, I didn't really see um, much space for our queer folks and trans folks. Uh, I, I've been a, a board member of uh, Voices here in Calgary, uh, the Two-Spirit LGBTQIA plus um, coalition of people of color, and that has informed much of the work that I do in community organizing. And, and I just love how community came together um, in solidarity for QT BIPOC people, but there's a very large uh, queer, trans, a non-binary population of, of Filipinx, them and, and people here in Calgary, but we never really had that type of space. You're based in Calgary, but you worked with Winnipeg's Anak uh, Publishing Worker Cooperative on this. How did that partnership form? At Panay Power 2. Everything happens at Panay Power 2. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I'm really thankful for that conference. Uh, I met Daisy uh, Bautista and her sister Darlene Bautista at the conference probably I don't know just wandering around probably when just before milling about at uh, like just before I think Ruby Ibarra performed who's also in the book um, a very amazing rapper from uh, and performer from um, from California uh, and 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 then we just started talking um, and Monica actually recommended that maybe I should go with Anak as a publisher um, because they're they're focused on the Filipino community and identity, and and I, I really actually am so thankful to Daisy D. Bautista who was the doula of getting this book uh, going, and and also like just um, very supportive. So uh, if there are any Filipinx femme or Filipinx uh, folks in Canada who are looking to publish, I highly recommend checking out Anak Publishing out of Winnipeg. Jax, finally, what do you want readers to take away from the book? Normalizing our two-spirit LGBTQIA plus community in the Filipino context. Um, I, I would like to, to see conversations built. Uh, and, and this is a, a coffee table book to take up space, not to be put away on a shelf, uh, but to also just be a piece of conversation so that we're we're seen and we're we're heard and, and appreciated and recognized. I, I think it's important for for groups that don't um, often get that representation in mainstream media to create it for ourselves and and to see that yeah we have value we have a, a great amount of uh, of value to offer and uh, and we're amazing beautiful people. And I'd like to have that normalized. I think I think it's time to have a, an appreciation for the folks who. Uh, like we can now create community after our our trans sisters and mothers uh, uh, Silvia Rivera and uh, Marsha P. Johnson marched so that we could have this community and be present. Jax, thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on the book. Thanks so much, Marjorie. Jax Gaios Aquinas is the editor of the book Home is in the Body, Two-Spirit, LGBTQIA+, Filipinx Femme, North of 49 Parallel. The book is available now.